<clears throat> YouTube, what is good with y'all? This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail. I'm here with another sneaker head pickup. Another sneaker pickup, another Goodfella Nail pickup. Whatever, whatever, man. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, man. Y'all know what I do. I like to show y'all underrated kicks. I like to show y'all kicks that I actually like. This is, I like to think of this as like, I like to think of this as like <clears throat> it's like my sneaker diary or whatever you know what I mean you know fashion you know stuff this is you know little stuff I'm into <clears throat> as far as my my fate with YouTube and stuff like that man uh, I don't know you know what I mean I might cut back a lot more or whatever but you know I don't know it's one of them things that I'm still determining. It depends, man. Like, honestly. But, uh, getting into this kick. This is part of my ASICS crazy haul pickup that I had. Um, now, this is a little bit more of a, like, a known kick. Like, some of y'all favorite YouTubers probably had this joint. Uh, not even probably, but I think I, like, I seen Mike Rich with these. But I couldn't resist the price, man. The price for these was probably, like... 27 or 28 dollars ship from the official ASICS retailer um, Now they also have store. They have a store on eBay. That's where I got mine from They had this sale on the 23rd or 24th or something like that. I swooped them Crazy and I end up getting like a crazy ASICS haul because it's like man You got shoe you selling sneakers fly kicks for like pay less prices So definitely had to pick up and even got a people a few gifts off that too. So definitely go check that out a lot of the, the smaller sizes is out um, but like I think they had some bigger sizes left but as of now I don't know you know with it almost being over a week later and then we definitely you know off into the new year you know you can still go see if you can find something you like um, and their name was ASICS America so that's their, that's their eBay store name they're also on Rudikin as well or Rutukin or something like that <clears throat> But anyway, I got a size 10, gel like three, fresh salmon, fresh salmon slash fresh salmon. They don't even have a color, so they just kept it nice and sweet. This is one of the ones that look like a collab. I seen Mike Rich with this shoe like a year or two ago or whatever. This is one of the ones I was like, yeah, that look fly. You know what I mean? That look fly. Definitely worth it. And uh, this one, I mean, it's just the way it's built and built it built up and just like constructed. You like it's definitely premium. It's one of the ones that uh, it's not the typical ASICS kind of like material. That's not to call ASICS like bad or whatever. You know, it's a running shoe or whatever. And I know they got to do whatever they got to do. Stuff is mass produced or whatever. But you know, I don't know the insides. But <clears throat> it's just not built like the typical running shoe. Now, granted, maybe because the sweat, maybe because they actually got suede on here that makes it a little bit more better. Um, I don't even know if this is a really a collab though, but it's built like one You know, uh, you got like a 90s kind of like insole and stuff. So enough of my talking I want to actually because you know the visual is way stronger <clears throat> so <clears throat> We got that signature ASIC split tongue up in the middle, you know Looking crazy looking like a volcano at the top instead of an actual tongue <clears throat> And then you got that breath of fresh air of that sea green and then you got like a 90s kind of like insole which is definitely fly to me uh i think they could have also used some of that insole on the bottom to kind of like turn up a little bit um but i'm not complaining um going to the out going to the sole of this shoe looks like this i'm not complaining obviously you're walking on it um and again this one of them kicks, this one of them aces I have yet to wear. Definitely gonna wear it, so you probably might see it in upcoming sneaker rotations. And uh which explains why I still got the tag on here. Now that this tag is just a simple washing tag to tell you how to clean the shoe. Um it's just in various languages and obviously it has their branding with the GL ASICS tag right here. I'm still learning my ASIC model, so I don't know like the tiger or whatever. I'm just clicking on i'm just buying kicks that i actually like you know what i mean i don't know who rocked it i don't care who rocked it or whatever i'm just buying whatever i like 
Um, but this one I actually seen before. Now the funny thing about this is they they're, they're calling this salmon, but when you actually see it, it looks more so like a like a red clay dirt from like Atlanta or something like that whole thing like that. And then it, I kind of think of a horse when I see it. The only time I even think about the salmon is when it comes to like the pink hints, the pinkish kind of like salmon color hints on hints on here. Uh, but other than that, uh, you know. It's, it's like almost like a horse ass soft, you know what I mean? So this is probably by far my best quality ASICs I have in my collection. And uh, yeah, this is definitely one of those top premium running shoes, man. This is almost catching my my uh, Saucony uh, strawberry uh, joints that I got like last year. So definitely fly, definitely worth it. <clears throat> I don't want to be too long on this review, but... Also, too, as an extra, they gave me the green laces. I'm still kind of debating on which lace I'm going to actually use or whatever. Um, when I was looking at some shoe reviews before this had actually came, before this had came in the mail, I was just thinking, like, man, I might just keep the, the salmon color ones in, just rock it like that. Um, but I don't know. Now I'm contemplating to see how green look in it. Um... With these split tongues, just word to the wise, if you don't get your correct size, um, just know that your sock will be all out of this right here. It'll look nasty. But anyway, mine do fit, but almost had, I got one that's a little bit more snug fitting than it should be. Now my sock doesn't come out, but I can tell. I can tell. If you if you don't wear it, get the right size, it will look like a nightmare. But... <clears throat> One of the things I again I now I do like the salmon on it. You got a salmon mesh going along the tongue right here. <clears throat> and since they named this salmon, I mean I really don't have too many other uh, analogies for it, man. I mean, this is probably this miso is probably the best miso I've seen on the ASICs that at least that I got out of my haul. Um crazy. <clears throat> And again, this is more so like along the premium line, premium side of ASICs. Also, this right here, you also got a 3M at the top on the side of the toe. And uh, I definitely expect to wear this a little bit more, well, a little more often. Because I've been, I, I've had colors for this kind of like stuff, but I just never really had the shoes to go with it. Like, so for example, like this, this right here, you know, probably would go almost close enough to it. This is a sweater I actually got. Chris, uh, what is it, Christmas or birthday? Well, something like that. But anyway, um, got that. And, uh, man, that would go perfect with this. And uh, that's basically it, man. I don't want to keep it too long or whatever. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. <clears throat> this is Neil Goodfella. Goodfella Neil. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the views. Thanks for the likes, y'all. Y'all know, I actually pay attention to that stuff, so, like, you know, um, hey, man, I guess the, the truth is in the numbers. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and also, don't forget to like and share and do all that stuff. I think this might be 3M on the back, too. I'm all late, y'all. My bad. I didn't even show y'all the, the back. But, yeah. Hopefully, I get some good thumbnail pictures out of this. Anyway, Happy New Year to y'all, and peace. I'm out this joint.